right, everybody. I'm back. I had to start another video to uh, show you the inside of the dollar store where I'm going into here. But anyway, here we go. We're going to buy a new phone charger. That's the reason we came in. But here's my dollar store that I go to. Anyway, here was the chargers. Okay, here they are. Let's see. We're going to try to pick a better one than we did the last time. That's home chargers. That's home chargers. There's a three prong one. Let's see. Here's one. This looks better. $10. All right. Uh, what color do you want? You want black or white? You want black or white? Right. These are 10. You like black? Uh, there's white and black. Here's white. Yeah. But white? Yeah. All right. Uh, I think it's only two colors they have of those. There's like they're like this. These right here maybe will be better than what we had. Uh, let's see, these are ten dollars, but they're not the right thing. Let's see. Make sure I got the best one. These are home chargers. Yeah, that's gonna be the ten dollar. This one here are eight dollars, but uh, see they got three. You could plug three up into that one. They got black, white, and they got this color. Yeah. Which one do you think would be best? Yeah. That one would do three. Yeah, at one time. Huh? Yeah, you want this one? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, so, let's see if they got one plastic. Let's see, wrapped up. No. Well, they got a black, a black one. They got a black one. They got you. You like the gold? Yeah. All right. Well. I think that would be all right. Maybe I, does it have one of them lights? Does it have the light on it? Yeah, a little one. It's just got a little light. That one should be better. It's eight dollars. So try that one and see how long it lasts. This maybe it'll last longer than a m three months. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, there's one we had. We had this one, and it was five bucks, and it just seems flimsy and cheap. Uh, it had a red light on it right here, and the light quit working. And it started blinking. That one right there, the one I got over there, this one seems a lot better. It's a, uh, let's see, this one here is actually, that's a home. Let's see here, where is it at? Right here. That's the one we got right now. Right there. And it's a lot heavier. It's heavier. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, they got white too. You want white? Yeah, white. You want white. Okay, get the white one instead. Yeah, the white one up. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy. We're gonna walk around the dollar store a minute for y'all. This is that's just light and cheap. Don't want. It, you don't have to plug three cords up, but if you want the other one, you can get the other one. You want the other one? Anyway, we're gonna jump off here a minute, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. But anyway, let's see. Let's see which one seems like it's built. You want the one with one one? Yeah, I can get one. All right, get this white one out here. It's already plastic. There you go. <clears throat> that would probably be better. It's ten dollars. It's ten dollars. It's probably better quality anyway. You know, I, I tell you, that one there probably have something to go wrong with it. It's got more that can go wrong. I picked out the other one. It's in plastic and everything. Yeah, he's yeah. getting a charger. It's ten dollars. It's a better one. It's a white one with a. It's a white one with a cord. But anyway, there's uh, there's the beef jerky, tender cut Jack Links. That's good stuff. I make that myself at home uh, in a dehydrator, and I put pepper and salt and everything like that in it. Uh, I'll walk you around the store real quick. We was in here about uh, eight to ten months ago. Maybe this time we'll have better reception than we did the last time. I'm trying to hold. But anyway, here's the aisle with all the candy. Candy aisle. There's the sweet oranges they're all a dollar good price on the stuff have jalapeno stuff they're all a dollar jalapeno poppers over here you got your rice crispy treats you got your sugar wafers they're a dollar fifty 
Got your chocolate ones, chocolate cream filled cookies, cookies, Chips Ahoy cookies, three seventy five. But yeah, dollar store down here is uh, it's a pretty big dollar store too. It goes about as far as the eye can see over there. <laughs> but anyway, appreciate y'all watching. I really enjoy filming and doing this stuff for you all. You all see what I see, so. I see $1.50 for hot dogs, armor. You got armor beef hot dogs. Three, $3.45, got milk, $4.10 a gallon now. But you know, it's all the way the stuff is nowadays. Let's see, go down through here. Got Gatorade, $1.40. Got two liters, three for 12. <clears throat> Beverly Hills Polo Club wallets. Wallets. That's lightweight. My wallet's a heavy one. My dad got me this wallet years ago. It's a good leather one, see? Very nice. Right there. Right there, very nice. Got all the room for everything. It's old too, I've had it like eight or 10 years, but I don't see no reason to quit on a garment just cause it gets made on it. I'm like what you call uh, uh, that guy from the movie, uh, uh, Deets. Deets from Lonesome Dove. You remember Deets? He was the black guy, Danny Glover. Played Danny Glover. Anyway, he, he was like that. He's like, I don't quit on a garment just because it's got some age on it. If there ain't nothing wrong with it, if it ain't completely broke, you know, why why replace it, you know? That's the way I think. And we got drinks down there, $1.95 for one. And then you got all the nacho cheese stuff. Hey, what kind of cheese is my cheese and it ain't nobody else's? It's my cheese. It's nacho cheese. That's whose cheese it is. Nacho. <laughs> nacho cheese. Chicken ramp rawhide twist. Heartland. What do you say? Beef jerky. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy the videos though. Um, yeah. 50% off. Insulated cooler tote, $7. Got a fan going. A fan going. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Any wind you get feels good. <clears throat> That's all the dog food and cat food. All that good stuff. But I'm going to go outside a minute. You've seen the store pretty much. I'm going to go outside and wait on my brother-in-law. Pudding. That's Puddin. Y'all wanted to know who Puddin was. Well, that's him. That's my cousin Puddin. I always talk about Puddin. Everybody asks me, where's Puddin at? Who's Puddin? Well, you might have got a glimpse of Puddin. <laughs> anyway. There's the old truck. The old truck. But yeah, it's a good old truck. <clears throat> Sit right here and look at the beautiful day. I'm telling you, it's beautiful, ain't it? Thank God we're still alive. You know, we've had a we've had a bad way with the storms, but at least now they're they're pretty much over. I'm so glad of that. Prayers for everybody that lost their people. If you lost somebody, I pray for you. I feel so bad for everybody in the East Coast and Florida, all the way Florida, all the way to the Virginia. Prayers go out to all of you. I hope you, hope everybody's doing fine. I hope your families are all okay. Hope you still got your, I hope we got your power back on. All that. It just hurts my heart, and I haven't felt like doing much comedy here lately because of all the, the bad stuff that's been going on with this storm. That Helene that come through. It's the worst storm I've ever seen in my life, and I'm documenting it on 
you know, on here for everybody to see. And for me to remember too, you know, it's a remembrance thing. Uh, I always look back on this video and say, well, that storm was sure bad because I've got the memories of it on tape. And I'm just sharing my documentation with the world, with you all. And I'm so glad I was able to do it, you know. It, y'all mean a lot to me, uh, you people. You people are like my family. I thank you all for being here. I thank you all for commenting on my videos, coming into my live streams and stuff. It really means a lot. You all don't know how much it means, but if you would give this video a like, a thumbs up, watch it all the way to the end. Uh, watch all my other videos. Help me grow. I mean, I about was killed about 2012 and uh, in a bad, bad car wreck uh, with an 18-wheeler. And uh, the, the guy told me, he said, you've got a reason to be here you've got a purpose in life and I realize what my purpose is now my purpose is to make people laugh and to give people encouragement and to let them see that life is precious because I learned what there is one thing I learned after that it was that life shouldn't be taken for granted because I never did take life for granted again after that day after that day I did not it was October the 20th 20th or no October the 13th it was October the 13th 2012 when that happened and I've never took life for granted again and I've always been scared of the internet interstate since then as well I'm scared I hate big rigs I do not like big rigs and I used to love them I used to want to drive a big truck <clears throat> but now when I get up beside one I get all shaky and uh, my stomach goes up into my throat and I'm like I get a lump in my throat when I get up next to a big truck and they're driving kind of weird or funny. I'm afraid the one's going to have a blowout or they're going to stop or the driver's going to, you know, miss his turn and he's going to stop real quick in front of me, which is what happened with that wreck that I was in with that rig. Uh, it was not my fault, but uh, the police gave me a ticket for failure to maintain control. So what it did was it canceled out my suing the trucking company. And I know why they did that. I found out later why the policeman gave me the ticket he was a state trooper tennessee state trooper had done it he gave me a ticket to cancel out so i wouldn't sue the driver because he was contracted by the state of tennessee because he was hauling sewer pipe for the state they was putting a highway in and he didn't want me suing the trucking company because you know it would hurt the state contract make the state contract go up i guess is what i found out but they that something just because he was hauling sewer pipe for a highway construction they done me dirty like that so i couldn't get no compensation i spent three months out of work on that i uh, tore my arm up real bad i don't know if you can see it but it tore my arm up it bruised me it broke two or three of my ribs three of my ribs uh, it put a bruise from my shoulder all the way down to my pelvis from the seat belt where it held me into the vehicle um, i was out of work for three months for brain swelling my brain swelled up on me uh, inside my head they thought they were gonna have to drill a hole in the top of my head to keep the pressure out. I wouldn't let them do it. I said, no, you're not drilling no hole in my head. And I wouldn't let them do it. It's like uh, one of my friends, Jim Tom, I used to know, he's dead now. But he had a bad crash on a motorcycle uh, of back in the you know, back in the day, back in the 70s, 80s, 80s, I believe it was. <clears throat> No, it was in the 60s. Because he was an old man. Real old. Oh, look at this coming. An old Etzel. An uh, Etzel wagon, man. You don't see those. Oh, my goodness. An old Etzel wagon. <clears throat> now, the old Ford Etzel didn't last long anyway. Just three years. 50, I think it's 56 to 59. <clears throat> they didn't last long at all. Edsel was ahead of its time. It was like the uh, Plymouth Fury, like Christine. They had push-button transmissions. Each 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 uh, gear had a special button, and it was chrome. It said park, reverse, neutral. Well, it didn't have it had neutral, yeah, neutral. But they stayed neutral. Uh, on those cars, you had to put the handbrake on or park against the curb or something to keep them from rolling down the hill because you started them in neutral. <clears throat> That's the way you had to start the vehicle. <clears throat> they didn't have a park. The Plymouth Fury didn't have a park, and neither did the Etzel. Etzel didn't. But Etzel was ahead of its time. It had power windows, 
air conditioning, uh, everything, you know, when cars wouldn't normally had that. But Ford Edsel was ahead of its time. It was a, it was a, a beauty. I've seen one in person a few times. They're, they're nice. But anyway, beautiful. Look at that beautiful sky. We enjoy it. We enjoy the world we live in. Let me zoom in a little bit there. But uh, like I said, I love you all. I'm not going to make this video too long. It's 15 minutes already. But I'm going to shut it down. And then I'll start it back when I do my live stream tonight. I really love y'all. appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and share my videos. Thank you.